At one point today, six nearby counties had wildfires burning. We have team coverage tonight and we begin with Heather Hope in Logan County and she is near County Road 74 and North Post Road, an area that saw the most destructive wildfires today. And Carl, this fire is still burning out here. As you can see behind me, there are several bales of hay that have still been burning all afternoon long. And the Guthrie Fire Chief says that this has been rekindled from a grass fire from yesterday and that about 10 structures are estimated to be lost. Winter fire season is well underway. Several grass fires broke out Sunday afternoon in parts of Logan County, forcing about 20 homes to evacuate. When things are dead like this, they burn with a great intensity, especially when you couple them with the wind, the heat, and the low humidity like we've got today. Guthrie Chief Eric Harlow says roughly 12 to 1,500 acres in Logan County were on fire. Crews from all over the metro moved in to help put out the growing flames but not before several vacant structures, some cattle, and at least 500 hay bales were lost. It gets a hold of you, gets your attention. James and Maxine Toll came home from church to find much of their 160 acres on fire. Their barn, tractor, and pickup truck all burned. Pretty tough. I put a lot of, a lot of labor into that barn and build it, build it from nothing. The couple has had their home since 1951 and said they had never seen a fire hit their area. It was really scary because I didn't know it would burn up to the house. It burned all around the house, up to the brick. Mm -hmm. And we're right across the street from that couple's home, which is still without power since they say the fire knocked out a pole, and they expect these thick bales of hay to be burning for at least another couple of days. We're live in Guthrie tonight. Heather Hope, News 9. Heather